So the fully waterproof floating battery thing is still e-propulsions thing, which brings us to our next one, which was a champion, in my opinion, of last year for 2024, the e-propulsion Spirit 1.0. They also have their standard kind of fuselage battery, just like the Torquedo, but this one has all the ports covered and it floats. And this has been tested. You can watch it drop right in the water. So the fully waterproof floating battery thing is still e-propulsions thing. Things that people don't take into account that the other outboards don't have at all is it has some sort of breakaway clutch system in the drive motor down there. So like if you hold your hand on it and you push the acceleration button, it won't go. You can just literally hold your hand right there and the prop will kind of just skip until it's free. So that's fantastic when you're talking about not destroying the lower unit. So I watched my wife and a friend, um, she was driving the boat and they plowed right over a shallow spot. And I watched it from a, like afar on top of a hill and I was going, there goes my lower unit and my prop. And uh, when I went and inspected it, the prop was unscathed. It had, you couldn't even tell that it, they ran over that whole shallow flat with it. So I think that's a, that's a great feature. I think it's, it's underrated and at least somebody did it. One last thing I wanna talk about is the travel bags make this motor tremendously more portable and it's just safe to carry around. They're worth their weight in gold. It's the best 200 bucks you'll ever spend. 